Durham teachers were arrested Wednesday during protests at the state's capital, and tonight they are speaking out about their arrests. CBS North Carolina's Derek Lewis reports on their demands for more resources. In a fight for better teacher pay and more resources for students, several teachers and supporters marched from Durham to Raleigh to meet with the governor Wednesday. Instead, they were arrested. Lisa McCool Grime, Alexa Goff, Torquise Parker, Anka Steffen, Alyssa Putt, Amy Swain, Don Wilson, and Brian Prophet were all charged with resisting a public officer. They sat in the middle of Morgan and Fayetteville streets in front of the state capitol and refused to move. The teachers say the capitol doors were locked when they got there during normal business hours. Now he did wrong by us by refusing to meet with us and wasting taxpayers' money by having us arrested. Those police officers did not want to arrest us. McCool Grime teaches at Southern High School. She said Wednesday's setback does not mean she's going to give up. Give up? On our students? Like on our children? I, I'm not sure how to do that. We came too far. Our kids need too much. There's a crisis in this state, right? And so, you know, some people may say, well, this isn't the best tactic or that. We can't wait any longer. Brian Prophet says once he got to jail, there was an outpouring of support from people who saw the march and arrests on the news. Everybody turns and looked at us and clapped and said, thank you. We appreciate what y'all are doing for us. We know what y'all are doing for us. Everybody in there had a teacher that they loved at some point, and they saw their teachers on that TV screen. The teachers that I talked to today say the leaders at Durham Public Schools have been very supportive of them. They say this fight with the governor is not over. In Durham, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS North Carolina.